those pandas are so cute. Today is a really exciting day because we are in Chengdu, which is known in China for being the place where you can go and see pandas. Really exciting. Last night we just got in, we just crashed out, it was already late. Uh, we needed to get up early. We didn't get up as early this morning as we like to, but we are really excited to get on our way and get up to the great big panda base. see some pandas because they're quite shy like they don't really come out and apparently they're quite temperamental if they don't like the weather or whatever they stay inside and it's obviously not like a zoo or something it's like a breeding center so you're not guaranteed to like see them but the weather's quite cool today it's not very sunny not very hot not very humid so fingers crossed they'll be out it's also early it's still only nine o'clock in the morning Should have got here a bit earlier, it is so busy already. <laughs> Must be something going on, there's enough people here. There were so many people over there, so we didn't want to talk too loudly and annoy anyone. But those pandas are so Cute. Like Rob is not normally reduced to this, but he is like squealing like a little girl. He's so cute. I just didn't expect it to be that cute, and it's like it's actually bigger than I thought it would be as well. It's so furry, and it's just sitting there like chomping away. It literally looks like you could cuddle it, and like, oh my god, I just want to like hold one. But you can't hold them anymore, and it's not good for them, so you're not supposed to. But oh my god, that is the cutest thing I've ever seen in my life. So I know it's not everyone's cup of tea to have animals in captivity and normally we're not like the biggest fans of zoos and stuff but this place does contribute to like pandas not being critically endangered anymore. They've bred like hundreds of them and released them into the wild and they have to fund it somehow and it is really cute. The only thing that is kind of bad about this place is that some people, although there's like signs everywhere saying, you know, be quiet, respect pandas or whatever, people are like clapping and like standing hello, their hands. Hello, panda, look this way. Because they're obviously like all sleeping now. They're starting they're... to all go to sleep. I think they've all had their breakfast and they're just... Yeah. It's not as interesting to look at, but they're just still just as cute even when they're sleeping. So I've been learning a bit of Chinese while we've been going around and before we came and today I've learned the word for panda is actually Zhong Mao and I think Zhong actually means like China or Chinese because the word for a Chinese person is Zhong Guo Ren so that's really interesting so Mao means cat as well I learned that so it means Chinese cat It's actually really pretty here as well. They've got a lake, loads of like bamboo around and nice green plants. They've even got a rose garden. Yeah, it's quite like peaceful and quiet as well. Yeah, they've made the effort to not just only be about pandas. Well, I mean, it is mostly just about pandas, but they've also tried to make it nice as well. We just watched a movie on pandas and like how they look after them here. The research centre here, yeah. It's a wonder that they've survived at all. They're only fertile, the females, for like a couple of hours every year. And then once they actually do have a baby, they can have them, like they can give birth from 72 days being pregnant to a whole year, so they can be really premature. And when they do give birth, they can like 
reject them, like they don't want to do it, they maybe stand on the baby. It's like, how have they managed to survive for this song? It's kind of incredible. But now they've developed all these techniques so that they now have a 92% success rate of cubs being born and surviving, which is pretty impressive. That's pretty good. As well as the big giant pandas, which everyone kind of comes here to see, they also have some red pandas, which are also super cute. They're a little bit harder to see though because they kind of can move quite quickly, so they run in between the trees all the time. But they are actually a lot cuter than I thought. They're kind of like a really fluffy, puffy fox. Well, we've been here quite a while. It's been so much fun looking at the pandas so cute there's so many of them you can just keep on wandering around looking at them all unfortunately our time here has come to an end uh, we're going to leave now we are taking one last look at the pandas on the way past and then we're going to go and try the local speciality which is spicy hot pot <laughs> 